Action. It really can't be long now. The three sisters really grow up in this series. There's still a little bit of spiteful, um, you know, nagging at each other. The sparks fly again between Mary and Edith, which is great fun to play. And I completely understand why she did all she did, even though it's um, trying to destroy her sister. She has so much more freedom. There is no, no direct rules of you can and can't go here. And she's able to speak to people far more freely instead of waiting for someone to come and visit. There are people there all the time and, and it's, it's a place of work. There are still scenes where Mary is sat in front of the mirror. <laughs> and I, I think it, there's not quite as much as the first series, but she is quite vain, and uh, and I I like it that he's kept he's kept that side of her character. She's quite aloof. There are so many other priorities. Everyone is kind of thrown into a different role. It was a common thing that women felt they had to to somehow help, and it was all all the news from the front was so awful. And I think through that actually found an enormous amount of, of self-worth, I think, for these three girls that got changed a lot and did tapestry and, and talked to men about, you know, marriage. It was very exciting for them to have something to do. All those nice young girls, um, you know, they had a big learning curve and they, uh, if they wanted to help, they had to help in ways that must have come as a tremendous surprise to many of them. Mary is... She's quite reluctant to get her hands dirty at first. Edith and Sybil seem to kind of take to it very quickly. And Edith, surprisingly, she, you know, she's, she does so much for the, for the soldiers and everyone's really surprised by that. Edith finds a kind of role. I mean, in the first series, she could never really find who she was. You know, she has this very charismatic elder sister and very committed younger sister with all her causes. And Edith is sort of stuck between the two, really. But in this series, she finds what she's good at. She's on her own and she's away from the sisters. She's not being compared. And she's useful. So I think she has a bit of fun. And Sybil uh, actually trains as a nurse. The other two help in a more sort of general way, but Sybil is actually a, a working nurse. She's sort of based on Lady Constance Lytton, who was very politically active and was a big suffragette and then was doing this and doing that and so on. She's modern in her thinking and in her reasoning and beliefs and everything like that, I think. She doesn't know what to do, but she knows she needs to do something. And through the series, she finds what it is. She finds nursing and feels useful from that. Mary is very headstrong and unable to accept that she can't have her own way. But of course, coupled to that is she she cannot be pitied, so it is impossible for her to show oh, Matthew the extent of her continuing love for him, because that would, for herself, make her feel weak. She can't let him go. He's kind of hardened, I think, by the war, uh, has become much, much tougher, and Mary doesn't really get anything off him at all. I think he's the, lo the love of her life.